sketch the graph of the following equation showing all the key features. So the equation is x minus 2 the whole squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. So now uh, you should know the equation, the general equation of an ellipse. The general equation of an ellipse with center 0, 0. Ellipse with center 0, 0 is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So this is the equation of an ellipse centered at 0, 0. So yeah, and your focus, which is c, squared or focal length squared would be the major radius squared so I'll call a the major radius a squared minus b squared and e which is the is eccentricity is c over a so I'll uh, talk about this later okay so this is the equation that you should know so eccentricity is the ratio between the focal length and the major radius okay so we want to find the x-intercept, y-intercept, center, the major radius, minor radius, and all. So first, from this equation, you can directly say the center, the center is 2 comma 0. The center is 2 comma 0, 2 comma 0. So first I'll draw or uh, plot the center. So this is center. Your a squared is equal to 9. So comparing with this and this, your a squared is 9. So I can say this implies your a is plus or minus 3. a is equal to plus or minus 3. So from the center, you go 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So this is one point. And the other point is, you go 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3. So these are the points. These are all also called the vertex or the x-intercept here. OK. So now b squared is equal to 4, which implies b is equal to plus or minus 2. Plus or minus 2. So from the center, you go 2 to 2 above, and you go 2 under. So these are the four points, and this will help us to draw the uh, ellipse. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to find is the focus, or c squared. C is your focus, or c squared would be a squared, the, uh, the greater radius minus the smaller radius. Okay, I call this the major, the greater radius, and this the, oh, this point is not right. I felt there was something wrong. One, two, three. So this point would come here. Okay. So this is your a squared is nine. So this is nine minus nine minus four, which is five. So your c is plus or minus five. Plus or minus square root of five. So your focus. So I'll say f one. One focus would be this. Your focus is always on the major axis. So this is your major axis and this is your minor axis. Okay, so your focus is always on the major axis. So this point is, uh, so from this you have to go root 5 to the right and root 5 to the left. So your focus would be, so this is your center 2, 0. So your F1 would be 2 plus root 5, comma 0. And the F2 would be uh, 2 minus root 5, comma 0. So your focus, so let's use a calculator. So menu run. So 2 plus shift root 5 is 4.23. And, and if you go minus and uh, delete, 4.23 and minus uh, 4.23 and minus 0.23. Okay, so this is 4.23. So I'll do focus here. Roughly it comes here. So this is your F1, 4.23 and minus 0.23. So you go 2 
So from here you go to minus root 5, which is minus 0 point. So this is um, 2 minus root 5, which is minus 0 point, uh, what was the number, minus 0 0.23. So roughly it comes here. So these are your two fo fo focus or four sides. So this is your F2. Okay, now we need to find the x-intercept. So x-intercept we already know is minus 1, comma 0 and 5, comma 0. So x-intercept, x-intercept you can also find. In this case, there is no need to find x-intercept because your vertex is your x-intercept. Or if you think in a different way, x-intercept is when y is equal to 0, when y is equal to Zero. So if you put y is equal to 0 in this equation, I can say x minus 2, the whole squared over 9, plus this becomes 0 is equal to 1. So I can say x minus 2, the whole squared, is equal to 9, multiplying 9 to both sides. So x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 3. So plus or minus 3. So x-intercept is... 2 plus or minus 3. And that's why if you go 2 plus 3, you get 5. So this is your x-intercept, which is 5 comma 0. And this is 2 minus 3 is minus 1 comma 0. So this point is 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2. And this, com this point is, again, I've done a mistake here. This point has to be 1, 2. So this point will come here. So this is this is 2, comma, negative 2. So this point is 2, comma, negative 2. Okay, now to find the y-intercept, uh, let's do everything without the calculator. So your y-intercept, we'll check this on a, later on the calculator. So y-intercept is when your x is equal to 0. So when you set x is equal to 0, so let me see the equation. If you put 0 here, so that is 0 minus 2, the whole squared over 9, plus y squared over 4, y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Okay, so making y squared the subject, so this is 4 over 9, plus y squared over 4, is equal to 9 over 9. One, one I'm writing 9 over 9. This implies y squared over 4 is equal to 9 over 9 minus 4 over 9, which is 5 over 9. So now multiplying both sides by 4, your y squared is 20 over 9. So your y is plus or minus square root of 20 over 9. 20 over 9. So let's do this on a calculator. So shift root bracket 20 divided by 9. So this is minus 1.49 1, 1 and uh, this is about 1.5. So this is minus 1, 1 plus 1.49 1 and minus 1.49. So your y-intercept would be let me use it. 1.49 is almost 1.5. So this is your y-intercept here. And minus 1.49 is here. So your circle or your ellipse would be a point, a circle, uh, sorry, would be a set of points passing through these points. So let me use a black color or let me use red. So your ellipse would look like this. Okay, so this is going through, and then you have to go past through the y-intercept, this point, and this point. Okay, so this is your ellipse. So let's check this on a calculator. If you get your calculator, if you go to conic section, if you go to your conic section, when you go to the, yeah, here's the conic section, and scroll down to ellipse this form so yeah execute 
your a is a squared so for if it's a squared your a is 3 here your b is 2 your h is 2 because it is x minus 2 this is x minus h squared and your k is 0 and then draw it so the year is your ellipse and then you can go g sol focus okay so this is your focus 4.23 this is 4.23 and if you scroll this minus 0 0.23 g sol your x intercept to minus 1 and plus 5 g sol your y intercept is minus 1.49 and plus 1.49 your vertex is nothing but your x intercept so these are your x vertex Oh, so these are your four vertex. So if you keep scrolling, so these are your vertex. Okay. Okay. And then G sol, your center is 2, comma 0. G sol, if you press this, E is the eccentricity, is 0. Point, I'll explain. Eccentricity is 0 0.74. Okay. Or 75. So how did they get that? E is E is C over A. Is C over a, your c is what's your c c is square root of phi focal length is square root of phi and your major radius is how much major radius is 3 so square root of phi divided by 3 is your eccentricity so shift square root of phi divided by 3 is 0 0.745 and the whole number so this is good enough so eccentricity is a ratio and eccentricity of a ellipse is always going to be less than is between 0 and negative 1. A, your E, is always going to be between 0 and negative 1. Why? Because your C is less than A. Your C is your focal length and A is your major radius. So if C is less than A, C over A would be a proper fraction. And all proper fractions are between 0 and negative 1. And that's why it's uh, between 0 and 1. 